In these videos, we are going to introduce the concept of um, subgroups. But I would like to give you some intuition here first. So I choose this example of Z4 um, under addition. So that would be the set 0, 1, 2, 3. And your group is here, right? So, this is a group under addition because it is uh, the operation is associative, right? You can pick any of these elements and add them in any order you want. Okay, so these are the, the axioms for a group, right? Um, two. Uh, there is an identity, well, yes, zero. If you add zero to any other element, let us take one for instance. You get one plus zero, you get one, so this is the identity, okay. There is an identity, you can do this to any other element. And the third axiom is the, the existence of, the, of inverses for every element. Okay, um, let us pick one element like, for instance, 3. What is the inverse of 3? Well, if you add 3 to 1, 3 plus 1, um, module 4, you get 0, right? And 0 is the identity. Okay, well, the identity here is 0, right? So you can check that all the elements have inverses. So this is a group, right? Z4 under the operation plus um, is closed for the operation and is a group under this operation. Now, what if I take a set uh, with only these elements, 0, and 2 and I keep the same operation module 4 okay so I take a subset because 0 2 is a subset of this Z4 right um, so I take a subset and I take the same operation um, my question is, the, the group axioms are going to be still valid only on this small subset under the same operation. Well, let us check if it is, um, if you can associate. Well, definitely you can, right? If you associate 0 plus 2 in any order, plus 0 in any order, it will always be uh, associative, right? Okay, do I have uh, an identity? Well, I do because the, the, the identity of Z4 is here in this set. The identity of Z4 is 0 and 0 is here. Okay, so this is the, the, the Z4 identity, right? Okay, so we do have the identity. Uh, you can check that 0 is the identity because 0 plus 2 equals 2. So you perform the operation with the identity and the elements stay the same. So this is the identity. Okay, what about inverses? Well, 0 is the inverse of itself because if I add 0 to 0, I get 0 and 0 is the identity and 2 if I add 2 plus 2 I get 0 and 0 is the identity so 2 is the inverse of itself so in this small subset in this subset of Z4 all the group axioms um, are valid too 
so because the operation is is associative here the operation is associative there is the, uh, the identity the identity is zero so the identity this set took the identity from z4 the same identity as the group and every single element has an inverse too okay what shall we call to this subset of the set of the group under the same operation where the group axioms are valid well that's exactly what we call a subgroup okay and that so now we introduce the concept of a subgroup okay um, if a subset H of a group G is itself a group like we saw in the previous example under the same operation of G we say H is a subgroup of G now usually we write it this way H is a subgroup of G okay means H is a subgroup of G now the a set is a subset of itself okay so H can be equal to G here okay uh, if H if you're considering a set that is a proper subset of G meaning that H is not equal to G so we say H is a subgroup of G and we write this way okay this one is called a proper subgroup proper subgroup okay for instance if you take you can check that if you take only the element identity this is called the trivial subgroup of G okay um, all the others that are not only the identity they are called the non-trivial non trivial um, subgroups of G uh, check that Zn is not a subgroup of Z okay uh, because Zn is um, uh, addition addition module n so this is not a subgroup of z under addition okay since addition module n is not the operation of z okay another aspect of notation is if you have a group uh, a set with a, a operation addition and this is a group and you have another set under the operation multiplication um, algebraists usually denote the so the identity here would be uh, zero right and the identity here would be one okay so frequently algebraists use this symbol zero to denote the, uh, denote the uh, additive identity element and the symbol 1 to denote a multiplicative identity element even if they may not be actually denoting the integers z, 0 at 1 you see like for instance if your set are matrices you see uh, under addition for instance in the space of 2 by 2 matrices okay so under addition your identity would be zero 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 okay 
and algebraists they they call it this zero okay so this might not be number zero but the additive okay the additive identity now you can check if the positive rational numbers under multiplication if that is a subgroup of the positive reals under multiplication uh, think about it and check it you will see that yes this is true uh, talking about groups of order 4 there are two different types of group structures of order 4 these um, unities um, this the, the 1 i minus 1 minus i we call this the klein fear group and we usually write this with a v v because in 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 german we write fear fear is four in german okay and the other group structure of order four is z4 okay since i did not introduce certain uh, group theory concepts here I'm going to show you this through the Cayley tables. Okay. So on the left, you have the Z4 Cayley table. Do not forget this is addition module 4. Looking at the Cayley table, you can see that this is a group, right? And this is a sort of structure and this, this is on the left and on the right you have the fear the Klein fear group the Klein fear the Klein fear group um, under this under this Cayley table now we should look we should try to find subgroups here and uh, we are going to to make a subgroup diagrams for a diagram for z4 and a subgroup diagram for the klein fear group so Z4, the only proper uh, subgroup of Z4 is the set Z2, because this one is the improper subgroup of Z4, okay? And this is the diagram the subgroup diagrams of the fear Klein group where these three EA, EP and the identity and C there are three non-trivial subgroups of the Klein fear group and the identity is the trivial subgroup so here you have a a subgroup diagram this is very important you should do this to other groups okay 